Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be going off-roading in the worst off-roaders on BeamNG Drive, the dirty 4x4 road. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing like a benchmark, I guess you could call it, of an actual good one. This is a, uh, a Bishu, a Blackfoot. Totally not a Jeep Cherokee or anything like that. You don't want to get copyrighted, you know. Let's put the uh, best engine in it. And let's see if I can upgrade the, um, sure, why not, heavy duty radiator. That was so random, by the way. Um, but I'm just trying to f see if there's any, um, wheels upgrades. I don't think there is. Alright, let's just go with this, then. So, we're just gonna be doing a good one. And then we're gonna be going to things like the Pigeon and Lamborghinis and just stuff you definitely shouldn't be doing off-roading in. This is a relatively hard trail as well. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it all the way up in this. Because, just because there's rock climbs at the end. And this isn't really a rock climber. It's very, it's kind of low. Also, we, we, um, we used to have a Jeep Cherokee. Um, we don't have it anymore though, because it rusted all the way out. That's the problem with these. A little bit of car effects while I'm playing this game. I'm gonna try not to use nodes, you know, the thing where you press control and move it around. But if I get completely stuck and I want to keep going, I'm uh, going to use nodes. Because we're just trying to see um, how hard the trail is to show you how hard it is. We're gonna be running through it multiple times. Ah, I went to the test. The test bar popped up. It's fine. I had huge microphone issues like the last video I had, Soldier of the Homeland. It's a really cool game. I was gonna try to record a second episode instead of this, but here's the issue. The game literally just like stopped working. Like I couldn't get through the next level. So this is what we're playing instead. So there's only gonna be ever be one episode of that series. I'm sorry. This part is gonna be really hard for any car. But the good news is I got OBS, so my microphone is going to sound way louder and just way more refined, way less background noises. Oh my goodness gracious, this is a hard trail. Oh no, don't flip over! Ah. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Reverse. Did I even go the right way? Oh no, I'm going the right way. There's no way in heck we're going to be able to make this up in like a pigeon intent of what we're doing next by the way come on little car you can do it uh oh oh never mind we're, i didn't i thought we we're gonna have to use nodes there come on you can do it come on i'm gonna use nodes just to get it up above this part oh dear <laughs> Maybe it isn't a good idea to use nodes. Uh, Alright, come on and curve around it. Let's just try to push it up a little bit. There we go. This is basically the alternative of using a winch, but this game doesn't have winches. So, we have to use nodes. Also, oh, but a winch wouldn't do that, so... Maybe you're better off using a winch. If there's a winch mod, let me know. Because that would be really cool instead of having to use these janky nodes every time you want to um, not flip back over and move. Oh dear. You would not be doing this trail in a jeep like this. Just because you don't want your car- you definitely don't want your car to end up like this. Well, maybe you would do a trail like this because it would be really fun, but you definitely wouldn't be, um doing this type of rock crawling. What do you say we um, upgrade to actual to something that's designed for rock crawling? Let's do that. We're gonna grab a uh, hopper. A crawler hopper. Yeah, one of the uh, big ones. And then we're gonna keep heading on down and hope we don't roll off the side of the mountain because that's probably gonna happen as soon as the game stops. This is something that's really designed for doing stuff like this. You can just blast down the mountain and flip over. All right, let's try to be a. T let's take it a little bit slower this time. 
Let's take it a little bit slow. Because this thing just wants to blast straight- wait, I could have went a different way. I literally could have went a different- completely different way. That's fine. This thing is extremely top heavy. Jeeps are already top heavy, so when you put lift it up like 18 feet, like this thing, they're extremely, extremely top heavy. Oh, I thought I was gonna rip my tire off on the way out there. It's kind of annoying when you like go to crash through a bush and then you just rip your front bumper and you break your radiator because it turns out there's a log in it. I'm talking about the game because it just looks like so much like you could go through there but then when you actually do it there's like a stump or something there and it just like rips your radiator off it's not very fun anyway let's keep going why why wouldn't they move the tree out the way you think they would do that by now if this was a really actually a good trail like this Ooh, that's probably gonna cause us if we even make it that far in like a pigeon or something we're gonna um probably destroy our engine anyway one more reset guys all right i think we got the point this trail is pretty hard let's actually i don't even think we can reset to the end now that's fine we'll just reload it once we get down There we go. We're through again, and we flipped over. <laughs> what did I say about this thing being top heavy? All right, let's um start here. Let's just the road uh, start here. All right, we're back to the start. Um, let's go to our vehicles and now. Let's grab something extremely stupid. A pigeon. But we're gonna don't think we're going like we're giving this a chance. We're going with the most amazing pigeon ever made, the kind of off-roading looking one. Maybe we'll try like the casual three-wheel one after this, but there's no way it's going to make it. And we're also going to try to probably upgrade. Let's let's see if we can put a bigger engine in this thing. Um, nothing there. Water filled spirit. Oh wait, we should do that. It'll add extra weight in the back. I don't know if it actually works like this in that game, but let's find out. Yes, bigger engine. And four wheels. Wait, four wheel snorkel. It didn't even add the snorkel. Maybe I actually have to edit that. Um, it's fine. Let's keep going. Let's, let's see how far this thing makes it. It might make it up to that rock crawling point, but I might just have to skip over the rock crawling part. Oh, no, it did add the snorkel. Okay. I might have to skip through the rock crawling part just because this thing is so low. But it doesn't mean we're not going to give it a try. We're 100% going to give this a try through that rock crawling section. It doesn't mean it's going to go well, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Like, this thing is already struggling. And we haven't even hit our first rock yet. Why does it turn so slow? I have no idea why. Wait, let's arm the nitrous. Or just blew it out the top. I mean, this thing made it faster, but it didn't give it any more grip. I'm gonna have to use nodes here, guys. There we go. Hey, we're actually making it up slightly! If you guys had a pigeon in real life, would you try this? I 100% would. Because how much would do you think these cars would cost in real life? Probably like three dollars. It would be like the PLP 50. We're gonna try to head around the rock calling part. I think. Because there's obviously a way around it. Which is really good actually for a trail like this. If we were in real life. The person that made this map actually said it was based on a real trail around them. Which is cool. They didn't say where the trail was or anything like that, but... You don't expect them to- wait, well hold on a sec- Okay, the engine's all the way in the back. I didn't see an engine there and I got confused. Overall though, I'm surprised how much this is holding up. 
It's holding up way better than I thought it would. I, th I thought we'd get stuck at the first hill. I mean, we kind of did. I had to use the nose to ch nodes to cheat my to cheat my way out. I don't know why that was so hard to say all of a sudden. Oh, this is 100% not going to go up this. That jeep that I just had had struggled a lot getting all the way up here. Well, let's try. Oh my goodness gracious, are we actually going to make it? Okay, that would have been too good. Let's just pull it up. Oh dear. I mean, we might actually- let's give it a try. Well, let's give it an actual shot. Let's drive it all the way back up here. And then just slam it. Alright, alright, let's node. Be as careful as possible. It would be cool if nodes exist. Nodes. I keep saying nodes. I don't know why. It would be cool if nodes existed in real life just because of the um, off-roading. You'd never get flipped over ever again. But you'd r end up ripping your roof off and stretching the heck out of your windshield. Also, I'm pretty sure that wheel isn't not happy. I don't think that- yeah, the wheels are not happy anymore. That's for sure. Wait, well, are we gonna make it up this hill? We have to head that way, right there. Because it heads down without going to the rock hauling. If we have to reset the car, we will, but I'm destined to get it through. Like, is like this. Oh dear, look how smushed the front is. I'm surprised our radiator hasn't busted yet. There we go. Oh yeah, that wheel is not happy right now. Actually, maybe it is. Oh no, it just keeps turning that way. I think in order to give this an actual shot of going down, we're gonna have to grab another pigeon. I know, I was trying to get it down to that way. Also, how come professional video software is like so bad? Like I was, um, I'm trying to get my OBS to work, and it took me like an hour of going back and forth between YouTube tutorials. They weren't working, and apparently it's just so weird and so messed up, and I have no idea why. I really hope that even this video even looks good. Um, but we'll find out. Why did it just kill the- Oh wait, I forgot to uh, switch the engine. I was like, why did the power just drop so much? I don't know. Well, anyway, well, let's continue. This is surprisingly good at off-roading. This is very surprisingly capable. <laughs> just as I say that, I flip over. Hey, the good news is, if this was real life, you could just get out and then flip it over yourself, because of how light the thing is. We totally just made it farther than we did in the Jeep, didn't we? That is completely fine. But we're gonna go with something even stupider after this, like a Ferrari. That's gonna be extremely interesting. What do you think the chances of us actually making it to the end in this are? Let's actually make a new rule. We have three, three resets to get to the end. If we can't do that, then it's not off road here. Um, let's keep going. It's not dead, but there we go. <laughs> this is perfectly fine. All right, let's head back to the start. I think we get the point here. It's a because that's like way too capable <laughs> for this. Way too capable. Quick travel, and we will. Change our vehicle vehicle <laughs> to something extremely stupid like a A eighty six. Sure, why not? Annoying thing with this car is the speed trim is super cool, but not when it's there a hundred percent of the time. It's very annoying. Anyway, problem solved. This nice Japanese car is probably not going to make it up at all. Let's 
turn the lights on. I think it's L for lights, or maybe N. Nope, definitely not N. Oh, no, it is N. I just pressed N. My bad. So far, so good. Turn. Whoa. That actually just got a sudden burst of power, and I have no idea where that came from. Um, let's see if we can upgrade the engine more. I have no idea if there's actually a difference. Let's do this one. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Wait, wait, where did it go? Uh, oh. Where? Oh dear. You know, let's just reset. Oh, that's fine. There we go. And let's try configuring this properly. Um, is it in alphabetical order? Oh wait, no, never mind. All right, I found it. All right, let's go. This thing. Oh. <laughs> See, that's the problem with being real wheel drive is like it goes wah, it gets all stuck, and then you just like let it go, and then it bursts forward. Also, I can say with a fact nobody would do this with their 86 unless they were like one of those car YouTubers that just destroy cars for no reason. But I mean, you wouldn't go in this expecting your car to come out alive. This is the issue with the four with the uh, real wheel. It would be so much better if this was front wheel drive because um, yeah, it would be cool if you could change that. I need to download some mods. It would be way better modded. Also, let me know in the comments. Do you guys want to see some scrap mechanic? That was so random, I know. But I just thought, car mods! And I remembered all the mods I had for scrap mechanic. I have like 160 hours on that game. It was so good. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. If you even made it this far in the video, because let's be real. I doubt anybody's actually going to see this part. This is actually I'm um, holding up surprisingly well, <laughs> but not surprising. It's um kind of surprising that the pigeon held up way better than this did. That is the un that's the surprising part because this is pretty terrible. I'm surprised that this full actual car did worse than a then um, did is doing worse than a pigeon like the pigeon is so uh, tiny that it uses a motorcycle engine and this it's it's um like i don't know what the word is like um measured the power in cc which is for motorcycles so this is an actual engine and it's doing worse than a motorcycle engine with four wheels so that's basically just a motorcycle with another two wheels also, I'm surprised we're not heating up yet. And our for some reason we're actually losing gas. That's kind of surprising. I'm not I don't really see um the cars lose gas ever in this game. That would be kind of funny if we ran out. Because if we did, that would be the first time I've ran out in this BMG without the um Without the uh, fuel tank puncturing. Also, I just realized this is we have the pigeon. The pigeon actually needed to reset, so we actually might be doing better in terms of durability here. Kind of impressive. You know what would be the ultimate uh, mean thing to do? Would be to post this on the initial D subreddit. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would get mad at that. I'm not actually going to though. But people would totally get mad at that. 
Anyway, let's keep going. I'm surprised though that this hasn't, we haven't needed to reset yet. Because all the other car, wait, is there an off road 86? If there's some modder out there that would do that, do that please. Make an off road 86. For absolutely no reason. Because it would be funny, that's why. <laughs> um, also, that bumper is still hanging on. Let's gun it and see if we can keep going. We'll actually just head until this one breaks. Considering the fact of how well it's doing, we would totally make it to the end if we did that three rule. So, let's keep going. This engine is loud. Alright, I think we're gonna have to node here. Let's keep going. Also, how is the radiator not punctured? Because I've been noting a lot in the front. And usually... We're just gonna have to completely bypass this whole section. But we're back on the downhill. Oh, the radiator's leaking. We're totally gonna be in trouble here. Just considering the fact. Oh, there's a the engine hydro lock? We made it this far and a puddle killed the engine? Well, <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of funny because we made it so far in this car that you're not supposed to go this far in. And it killed because of a puddle. Well, with that, guys, I'll see you guys all later. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye.